Boxing Voice. Chris, how soon do you plan on getting to Macau to get acclimated to the to the time zone and uh, things like that? We'll be out there about 10 days prior. Um, I, I was good. I got to I got to go out there um, last week and get to get a feel for it. By day three, I was literally 100. percent So um, I travel well, so I'm not really worried about it. I haven't heard many people speak about your movement. Um, you have good legs. You showed that in the Ruslan fight. You were able to get up off the canvas twice and basically keep him at bay, not only with the jab but with the legs. Is that going to be something that uh, causes problem for Pacquiao because he fights in spurts and usually he's in control of the tempo of the fight? Well, that's that's really going to be the key, setting a pace that he's not used to. Um, and that's what I do with all my opponents. And that's why the end of fights, I take over. Because I set a pace that these guys are not used to. Um, they, they end up getting into deep waters. Um, they've been pushed past their, their physical limits. And then it's just it's just me taking over and running away with it. I was at your a few of your fights in Huntington. Most recently was the one with Andre was on the car versus Freddie Hernandez. Now, what's the difference? Clearly, I know, and maybe the world, but for you, what's the difference between those promotions in the Paramount, in Huntington, and now this, the grand stage? I mean, this is this is so much bigger. The magnitude is 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 you know so many times bigger. It's 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 tremendous. You know, going from the Barclays. You know, going from the Paramount to the Barclays was eight times the size of the venue. It was eight times the amount of people were there. You know, and we're going to double the amount from from the Barclays for this fight. So, um, you know, it's, yeah. Plus the views are are are, in, are crazy. But at the end of the day, it's just me and Manny in the ring, and or me and my opponent, whoever that opponent is. This this one happens to be Manny. So that that's what matters. You know, those millions of people that are going to be cheering for Manny that night, they're not in the ring with him. You know. Team talk strategy yet? We no, we actually have a meeting this week since we're all together in New York. We're gonna sit down and uh, we're gonna talk about some food and we're gonna talk over some food and figure out um, just the layout of the land for the next couple months. How do you distinguish yourself from past uh, Pacquiao opponents that have said the same things you're saying? They said they're focused. They said they're gonna beat Pacquiao. They said that they're different. Uh, the difference is I actually mean it. And I believe it. Um, Self-belief and self-assuredness is, is, is a tremendous part of my game. Um, you know, everyone always comments I'm such a confident guy. It's just because I believe in myself. That's all. It's not. I'm not trying to be cocky or trying to you know sway anybody. This is what I believe. Okay. Two questions. Is there a rematch clause? Yes. If I win. So if you win, you can't. Are you entitled to at least one voluntary defense, and that can be Mayweather? Um, I do not believe so, but do not quote me because I'm not a lawyer. Hey, Mike. I, I've been saying it. I'm the same person. None of this stuff is going to change me. The way people perceive me or the way people treat me has changed, but that's not going to change who I am. Um, I've got a very tight circle, very tight-knit crew. Uh, one of the men is right there, Mr. Keith Trimble over there. You know, and um, and he'll tell you, and he can attest to it too. You know, all this is this is this is all on the outside, but at the end of the day, it's. it's Boxing Voice.